Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. Let's have a look at the top stories. A concrete slab of construction at Miramar collapsed. Three laborers severely injured. Seven others escaped with minor injuries. The Kochi Emirate flight hit air hole over Goa. Escapes major accident. 20 passengers suffer minor injuries. Flight lands at Kochi. IMA strongly opposes Falco's proposal of film school in old GMC. Doctors demand offer be made public. Kerala MPs to raise heavy assault incident in the parliament. Police say CCTV footage has all the evidence. And 29th National Shooting Championship commences at Patodda. And now the news in detail. A concrete slab of an ongoing construction at Miramar collapsed on Sunday afternoon. The construction is known to be of a minister. Three labourers are severely injured and seven escaped with minor injuries in this incident. The labourers are admitted at the Vintage Hospital. As of now, no police complaint has been registered. On Sunday at around 2 p.m., a concrete slab of an ongoing construction collapsed. This construction is known to be of a minister involved in the real estate business. This accident injured 10 labourers, out of which three labourers are severely hurt. Others escaped with minor injuries. Prudent Media visited the hospital and interacted with these injured labourers. <laughs> No sooner Prudent received the information of the accident, Team Prudent rushed to the site. Another local media and a newspaper reporter were also present. The people present at the site restrained media reporters from proceeding to the accident site. They threatened the journalists not to report any matter. They forced the Prudent team to delete the captured visuals. However, some visuals fortunately remained with Prudent. Have a look at the visuals of the collapsed slab. The people present at the site claim that the construction is being demolished and it is not collapsed. They argued with the journalist countering, they may break the construction or put it upright. It's in private property. What has media got to do with it? Surprisingly, the case is not yet reported to the police. Bureau report, Prudent Media. An Emirates flight flying over Goa averted tragedy on Sunday. It landed safely in Kochi. A Dubai-Kochi Emirates flight escaped a major disaster over the Goa's airspace when it encountered a fall in height due to an air pocket. The Boeing 777 flight had 350 passengers on board. 20 sustained minor injuries. The aircraft is also damaged. As for the reports, the aircraft hit an air pocket over Goa. The plane encountered a fall at a height of around 20,000 feet to 1,500 feet. However, it landed safely at Kochi as the pilot was alert. Miraculously, the pilot was able to regain control before impact after dropping 18,500 feet. 20 passengers on the flight sustained minor injuries during the descent and were given first aid at Nedumbasari Airport. The plane too suffered damages. Majid Al Muala, Emirates Senior Vice President for Commercial Operations in West Asia, said EK530 encountered a short period of heavy turbulence prior to descent into India. There were 350 passengers on board the flight, 20 of whom suffered minor injuries. The flight landed safely in Kochi and the captain requested medical support to meet the aircraft. All affected passengers were treated and have now been released. An air pocket means a downward air current that causes an aircraft to lose altitude abruptly. It is also termed as an air hole. It is a localized region of low air pressure or a descending air current that causes an aircraft to lose height suddenly. The efforts are still on to verify what exactly happened with the flight. But the good news is that all the passengers landed safely. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Old GMC building is in news once again. IMA has strongly objected entry of Fargo Company in Old GMC building. 
Doctors claim this is the same company which had attempted to set up a mall in the old GMC building. Now it has intentions of opening a film school in this heritage building. President of IME has strongly opposed the entry of Fargo Company in the old GMC. The company has expressed its intention of setting up a film school. This is the same company which had plans to enter this heritage building by setting up a shopping mall. It was dropped after strong opposition from IME. Dr. Sarkar says Fargo is a real estate developer's firm and doesn't have a background of a film school. He he committed to Fargo to here and scrap it. And he didn't have to think about it. Vishnu Vak Committee. So, accept it or not accept it, he didn't have to say that he was in the committee. And what was the committee? That was the Fargo Committee. He was in the film school. He is a builder. He has no this to the film institution. He didn't have a background. So, suddenly he just wants to enter in that building. Sarkar clarified that IMA has no objection in setting up a film school in old GMC building. If really want to film schooling, at least I as an IMA cho konato objection as the film school galpak. I'm taking a very simple issue asa. Tukas film school galpa jahanai. Ask for expression of interest, open, bead kara. There are so many better film schools are available in India. That means there is some hidden kitri kon clandestine activity chalta. Tanka jo fargo aillo jayanga. Sarkar says the building has a nostalgic value. Medical students have an attachment to this institute. Hence, they feel it should be in public domain. Sarkar also threatened that medical community will not keep quiet if the government still goes ahead with Fargo's plans. And we have decided that we will go all out. Medical community will not keep quiet. The government has given Fargo for the film school. We will go out and fight against all these things. I mean, we will go to any extent to fight and save that building. When we spoke to CEO of ESG, Manoj Srivastav, he refused to comment. Our reporter Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Omkar Farari for Prudent Media. Time for a short break. Stay tuned for more news.